the Sam that we represent in this in this script, there felt something very fast and dangerous about him, especially at the beginning when we're trying to kind of create this angry, out of control, violent guy who Sam was in his younger years. Help me. There's the Sam who had no God, but but himself and his you know and his pain and his pleasure, and then the Sam who railed everything in and and found this higher purpose. When you're making a movie of a real character, and especially a character who's still alive today, you're obviously trying to capture the spirit and the soul of that person's life. I'm here today to talk to you about families just like yours, half a world away, that desperately need your help. I was thinking maybe I could go over there. Africa? I reckon they can do with all the help they can get. I'll be back before you know. Ultimately, I felt Jerry would be the right actor to play this role. And as a director, you always want to work with an actor who is truly passionate in what he's doing. And I think he really gave everything. You had an army or something? We are freedom fighters. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Traveling is the most dangerous time in Sudan. If the rebels find us, it will be very bad. This is a war zone. If you stay here, you're going to get killed. I've never felt so involved in creating a scene and it was something I feel like I, I had to earn. It's based on something that really happened, but it's just, it's so hard to believe that it, that it did because it's such an incredible story. Jerry was just doing take after take after take without them stopping. He was just going until all the film was gone, almost rehearsing on film, and then he got it, and then he nailed it, and then it was done, and it was just incredible. Yeah. Gerard is incredibly talented and he's just embraced this role with everything that he has and it's truly remarkable watching him. That's the orphanage that I'm gonna build in Sudan. I think it's very important that Lynn and Daisy and Paige supported him because if he had no support, you know, going over there and seeing all that and not being able to come home and talk about all these things, it probably would have been a whole lot harder for him to keep going back. This is it. It's been a blessing, this movie, because we're telling an important story. And you know that everybody's in it for the right reasons. Both of my two last movies, Kite Runner and Quantum of Solace, shot in several countries and different continents. So I'm pretty used to shooting to give it an epic scope, but still feel gritty and real. The entire rebel army has put a bounty on your head. I must be doing something right. They burn it down. Nothing left. It's over. Them kids have had their whole lives burned to the ground and worse. God gave you purpose, Sam Childers. Stop your crying and build it again. You hear me? I think we found a way into this story through Sam Childers. It's about a man trying to do something extraordinary. And I think that in the way we were able to tell the story, it's accessible. You can defy the odds and you can make a difference, that you can make a change in the world and that's what really speaks to me about Sam's story. Sam waits. She will wait and get you. What that man has experienced is what most people wouldn't experience in 10 lifetimes, 100 lifetimes. I think it was a, it was a really positive and very good collaboration which I really enjoyed. This place does not need more guns. Why don't you fight the evil in this place your way and let me fight it mine? We just saw it sing.